Hi folks, today I will show you how to replace a 12 volt car battery in a BMW i8. Don't be scared of it, it's actually quite easy. You may wonder why we start outdoors and have a look at the cardboard box. But this is a parcel I ordered yesterday from Tana Batteries and already arrived today. And as you can see on the sticker, open outdoors immediately. I just follow the instructions. I've got my knife ready. Let's have a look. Here is another safety warning, but also instructions for to do with the battery once you received it and unpacked it. As you can see, the parcel is very well packed, but I'm also checking for leaks because when the DHL driver came, he delivered the box upside down, despite the sticker this way up. Once unbox the battery, another important safety warning to remove a plug. So we have a white one on this end, but also something strange on this end. A black one with a hole in the middle. The instructions state either a black rubber cork, a green tape, a silicon sealant or something else. Nothing seems to really match. So, it's also an AGM battery. It doesn't really need any plugs removing. Double checking the battery type, which is correct 12 volt, 50 amp hours AGM battery. And I also called Tana directly to check which plugs they actually mean, because there is some ambiguity on this image here. If it's a negative pole, the right hand side and so on. Tana confirmed this is a mistake, there is no need to remove any of the plugs, so I put the battery on charge to have it fully charged before the install. That's now the battery fully charged and I will show you all the tools you will need to install this car battery into your BMW i8. A 10mm spanner for the terminals two screwdrivers to hold the bonnet up in place, one allen key to lock the high voltage isolator, and last but not least, an OBD Link MX. And one tool I didn't list here is a 13 millimeter wrench with an extension. One important factor is to check the app you will use to program your battery for the BMW with the um, OBD connector of your choice. Not all will work and you need a suitable one. Bimmerlink will show you in the app which ones are supported. Here we already have the bonnet propped open. We will undo the negative terminal first, but before we do any work, we actually isolate our high voltage battery using this orange connector. I've already got it isolated here and in the tab it will also show off. Once you push it back together after your work is done, it will stay on. Here now you can see my Allen key in place. It's just in case I accidentally push the connector back together. It actually doesn't do any harm. It doesn't um, de-isolate the battery, so it stays isolated the main voltage battery. So let's undo the negative terminal first and then the positive terminal afterwards. Here you can see the sensor for the battery state, so that's why we programmed the battery in. And the positive also got some wires connected. This is a high explosive charge, so in case of an accident, the positive gets disconnected from the battery so the car doesn't go up in flames. So now you can see negative connected first, positive afterwards. We are ready to pull the battery out. But before we can do this, we have another nut to open. That's a 13 millimeter nut to hold the battery in place. For this, you see my socket wrench here, 30 millimeters with an extension long enough so we don't hit any components in the car. I now have loosened this bolt and 
it's really hard to undo the bracket so what I will do is I will carefully pull it out with the battery together so it doesn't get lost in the front compartment as everything is sealed underneath. Don't forget to undo the breathing hose as well. That's the last check before I put the new battery in to double check the sizes which are very identical. Um, double check also capacity again, last checks. And you can see the bracket to hold the battery in place in the background. Let's have a closer look at the bracket to make life easier for reinserting the battery. So this way it will not fit easily. Push the bracket up this way and then get the bracket in place. Otherwise you cannot get the screw in the hole easily. We now have the battery back in place. Positive connected first, then negative. And the bracket is tightened as well. Make sure the hose is in place. Double check all the nuts that everything is nice and tight before re-energizing the car using the main battery. Removing the Allen key and pushing the connector together. And now the main battery is live and online again. The car will everything confirm with a typical BMW i8 dong. And you can see the connector stays on. So everything is powered up. Uh, ignition is on, but the car is not started. Looks like all is working fine. But for some reason, I cannot use it up with the car yet. There are some weird and wonderful issues I need to have a look at. Here we finally have my chief engineer and he just reminded me that I need to set the time and date because it shows 2025 and time travel hasn't been invented yet. The easiest way to set the time is just to let it all do automatically and after a few short seconds everything is honky dory. So here we have the app going, select our OBD connector and connect. And once you realize that you actually need to plug in the OBD connector in order to work, it will finally connect and will look like this. Once in the app, just tap battery. Eventually it will show when the battery was last replaced and register new battery. If your new battery matches the old specification, just press yes, otherwise enter no and enter the details of your new battery. Press register and off you go. And with this success message, everything has been done successfully and you're ready for a few more kilometers or miles of happy motoring.